For the first time, a foreign ministry of Portugal visited the Philippines. The purpose of foreign ministry Juan Gomez Cravinho's visit is to strengthen a rather dormant relationship between the two countries. At the bilateral meeting, Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo said some of the topics discussed were trade and investment relationships between the Philippines and Portugal, as well as security, defense and maritime cooperation, agriculture, education, and the digitalization of public services in the Philippines. The Marcos Jr. administration is pushing for this initiative, which according to Manalo, the country of Portugal is an expert. Our nations enjoy a warm and cordial relationship going as far back as the 16th century and highlighted by our shared commitment to democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Cravinho said that there are many opportunities awaiting Filipinos in Portugal. They also expressed support of the arbitral ruling in favor of the Philippines. It is the responsibility of all of us to follow, uh, follow what is established and to also follow what is established in the dispute settlement mechanisms that, uh, that UNCLOS establishes. He also stressed this is a good opportunity for the Philippines to further strengthen its relationships with European Union member nations. Next week, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will visit the Philippines. This is also the first opportunity that a European Commission President will visit the country. On China's proposed joint military exercise with the Philippines, Manalo said he has yet to receive any formal invitation regarding this. Well, we don't know yet because anyway, uh, we have to see first what they're proposing before we can even make a recommendation. Bea Bernardo for the nation.